Hello and welcome to this Excel Tips video. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video, I'm going to show you five really easy methods to apply a formula to an entire column in Excel. So here I have this data where I have the names, the sales, and I need to calculate the commission for each of these people. And the commission here would be 15% of the sales value. Now I need to calculate this for all these cells in the column. So my formula here would be B2 multiplied by 15%. Now this gives me the result for this cell only, but I need this formula for all these cells. So the first method is going to be using the fill handle where when I select the cell, you'll notice that there is a very small green square at the bottom right of this selection. And when I hover the cursor over it, you'll notice that my cursor changes into a plus icon. And now when I double click on it, it is going to copy the content of this cell to all the cells till I have the data in the adjacent column. So in this case, I have the data till row number 15, then this is going to apply the formula to the cell till row number 15. And you can see that the reference is already adjusted. Here it was B2 into 15%, here it becomes B3 into 15%, then B4 into 15% and so on. Now, this method works really well. It's really quick, but one drawback here is that in case you have blank rows in the data, then it is not going to go till the end. See what happens when I have this blank record, I double click on it. This is only going to take my data till here because it needs to have the data in adjacent columns for it to know till the point it needs to take and fill the data. So in this case, if this is the situation and you may have some blank records, what you can do is select this cell, hold the left mouse key and manually drag this down. And when you do this, it forces fill handle to go through all the cells in the selection, even if there are blank records. So in this case, since because there is no data, it gives me zero and I can delete this. So this is uh, one of the fastest methods to apply formula to an entire column. Now let's see another method. Here, before applying the formula to this cell, I would first make the selection. So I would select all these cells. Then I would use the formula, which is B2 into 15%. And instead of hitting the enter key, I'm going to hit control enter and see what happens. As soon as I hit control enter, the same formula is applied to all the cells. And because this is relative reference, the reference changes automatically. So it's B2 into 15% and then it becomes B3 into 15%. So again, a really quick method by first selecting the range and then applying the formula and using control enter instead. Let me show you a keyboard shortcut that you can use to do this. So first, let me have the formula which is B2 into 15%. And now I would select all these cells and use the keyboard shortcut Control D. So I would hold the Control key and press the D key. When you do that, it copies the content from the cell above and put it in the cell below. And see what happens when I do this. Instantly, the content of this cell is copied to the next cell. And because the next cell now gets filled, the content of it is uh, filled to the next cell below it and so on. So instantly, you'll have all these cells filled with the formula. This method is really amazing, but it only works if you have dynamic arrays, which means that you need to have Microsoft 365 and even within 365, there are only some versions that have all the features. So if you do not have dynamic arrays, this is not going to work for you. But if you have dynamic arrays, then this is probably the best method of all these methods. So in this case, instead of selecting just this single cell, I am going to select this entire range. And now when I multiply this by 15%, see what happens as soon as I hit enter, the result spills over and fills all these cells. And this happens because this is returning, this formula is returning an array of 15 values based on these cells. So because I selected these 14 values here, then this actually returns an array of 14 values. And because I have dynamic arrays, it is not just kept to this single cell, it is spilled over to all the cells. So this is the fastest way to do it, uh, but you need to have dynamic arrays for this to work. One thing you need to know about uh, using dynamic arrays is you cannot delete one single element from this formula. So if I come here and I try and delete this, I will not be able to do this. I will either have to delete this entire thing by selecting the entire column and delete it or come to the first cell where I actually inserted the formula and delete this. And when I do that, everything would be gone. The other thing you need to know is in case you have anything here in any of these cells, any 
text, any content, any number, then the formula is going to give you an error because it needs all the cells which are going to be occupied to be empty. If the cells are not empty, then the formula would refuse to fill those cells and give you an error. So for example, if I already have a value here and I try and apply this formula, you'll see that it gives me a spill error because there is already something here. And you can uh, go to this uh, error information and it is going to tell you that spill range is in blank. So as soon as you come here and you delete it, your result would appear. And the last method is the good old copy paste. You come here to this cell, apply the formula. So I get this here, I copy this, select all these cells where I want the same formula and paste it. And as soon as I do this, it is going to copy the formula to all the cells that I have selected. So these are five simple methods that you can use to apply a formula to an entire column in Excel. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.